Our indigenous ancestors have always told us that we live in the web of creation. In the Hopi tradition, for example, when Spider Grandmother first emerged into this world, she wove the web of creation so that her children could live their lives. Or in the Hindu traditions, the great god Indra wove the web of creation at the intersection of each place in the web. Indra put a glittering jewel of light that became the planets and the stars that we see in our night sky. So these ways of thinking, they're not scientific, but these are the ways that our ancestors made sense of what they saw in their world. And this is where much of what science is revealing today parallels those traditions. We definitely are seeing a web-like presence. When we think about one another, we've been taught that we're separate from one another, that we're separate from the world around us, and that what we do in our bodies, in our thoughts, feelings, and emotions has very little influence on anything beyond our own physical body, if that. But the new discoveries are telling us that's not true at all. The new discoveries are showing us that we are deeply connected, and in some ways the connection arises from fields of energy that we've only begun to understand 